Hello everyone, my name is Jacre Lewis Smith and I have graduated high school. Yay, yay, come on, clap it up, clap it up, yay. Here we have Ali Jabur. He is, is that how you say your last name? <laughs> Jabur. Jabur, Ali Jabur. And he is a senior, so I'm gonna question him, give him, give him some questions so that we can get some enlightenment. <laughs> oh, I'm lying, he's a college freshman. He's a college freshman, he's not a senior. All right, <laughs> I'm st stuck in the high school mindset. Is there a specific memory of something that happened after high school that you'd like to uh, talk to us about today? Um, remembering high school, that, like just remembering high school, because you're done after that. The, there is no routine anymore. You're not being told what to do anymore. We have choices now. You have choices, you can do whatever you want. You know, grades, you don't have to show them to your parents, you don't have to do what they you know tell you anymore you can you kind of got free will classes you can either show up or don't show up mm -hmm. you can only take online classes you have the freedom to pretty much do whatever you want now uh, how do you feel about the massive amount of debt that a lot of these students are going to take on as they go to college it sucks but if you know how to save your money like like there are some necess like things that you don't need you don't need to pay for like dorms you don't need to pay for um their lunch um, thing you mm -hmm. don't need to pay for their parking it's, it's optional a, it's optional and you could save money by like commuting a you could save money by you know getting make home cooked meals like you know anything that can save money you you, you would do and getting a job of course can help you out most likely you're probably going to graduate with debt but you mm -hmm. want to graduate with less debt yes okay so so the less debt that you have to pay the better you are well yeah of course because then that debt it's just gonna like you have you're gonna have other things that you have to pay mm -hmm. you're gonna have to buy a house if you're married you're gonna have to you know if you have kids marriage um a car you know there's a lot of things medical emergencies you don't know what's gonna happen your parents something goes downhill there's you gotta always predict what's going you know what's going on where do you see yourself after you graduate college i mean any job that again i'm probably gonna go do a you know take a job on and then save as much money as I can and if I want to like if I want more money and if I want to see myself if I think I can do more I'd go back to college I'd go back you know take do my masters and if I want even higher achievements I can always go do my doctorate or like dentistry school continue with school will burn you out you've already done school for the past 20 years of your life you know you don't want to keep doing it anymore there's a certain point where, because you, you don't, you want to enjoy your time also as a as a young adult. Mm -hmm. Instead, get the money and then enjoy it when you're like crippled and old. Yeah. So you'd probably want to enjoy your as much as your time now, but like don't go partying every Saturday or something. Keep, well, do keep you, monitored. I was gonna say, do you think that people should party every so often? Like, how, how what is the to interval? To de-stress, yeah. Like, if you want to, you know, de-stress a little bit, but then again. Everybody's situation is different. Oh, uh, 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 we're gonna, there we go. There we go. Gotta turn the lights back on. All right. <laughs> Me personally, I don't think parties are a good thing unless it's in the summer. Unless again, family events, parties, those are always. But like college, high school parties, drinking, drugs. I mean, the other day, um, someone in UMD, um, people got laced with their drinks. And really? Yeah, my sister was there. People, uh, some people's drinks were laced, and then people got sick, and then people started vomiting everywhere. Again, parties, you you, you got to you gotta go to a party with, with like, it's got to be a family party, like a small gathering. You cannot go to one of those, like, high school parties, drinking, you know, smoking, all that. I, I don't suggest it. That, that might be your type of style. Mm -hmm. It's not everybody, but it's, it's safer that way. I, wow, okay, I understand. And then if you got that medical bill, you know, that's going to... Oh, that's going to make it even worse. <laughs> yeah, if you're like in the hospital the next day, not only do you miss out on that semester of college, you lose your money. If, you got, if you're caught drinking, your tuition's gone. Your full ride is probably destroyed mm -hmm. a lot. And if you're an athlete, say goodbye to your career. Of course. Wow, so be, be wise, guys. Is there any other type of information? Oh, I wouldn't really say information, but what would you say to someone who is just graduating high school? Is there any wise words that you'd like to leave them behind with? Don't be scared. It's, it gets better. It's, it, and I know some people are scared of maturing and are scared of like, you know, having their adult responsibilities. But in the end, you're kind of, that's what everybody has to do. You're maturing, you're growing up. You can't be a baby forever. Life is going to be okay. Trust me. Nice. 
All right, now I'm giving you the mic and you're gonna ask me some questions. All right. What is the most stressful thing? What do you think is wrong with the school system as like high school? What is, what is like bad in high school? Try again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the major, since you're, you know, a, a, a early college, what is the main difference between college and high school since you're kind of in the middle of both right now? College gives you more power. You have much more ability and, you know, you're, uh, sense making and your time management you must stay on task with whatever you hope to achieve you just have you have more power you have much more control over yourself and what you want to do right in high school everyone else is determining it for you you don't even know what you want to do after high school most of the time well, that's kind of like the natural order of things you don't know what you want to do after you leave high school uh, but with college you have this goal that you're working towards and if you are slacking in any sort of way you you're, you're there for yourself you must tell yourself that you know th this is not healthy for you and that you must recuperate whatever you've lost and you're wavering so I, I would say that there, it comes with a lot more responsibility for sure but uh, it also comes with this nice freedom of knowing that the work that you're doing is work that you actually want to complete those are my thoughts mm -hmm. Another question I have, why do you think some people still like are afraid to graduate? Why do you think the, the, the fear of graduation is there? Like they don't want to continue to like, they, they, they want to of course graduate, but they don't want to have that responsibility of college. They're too scared. It's the fear of change. That's natural. It's, it's natural to fear change and to fear uh, your ability and adaptation. Also, college is very daunting. I wouldn't even recommend college to someone who cannot get a full ride or a partial ride scholarship. Uh, don't go. Don't go because debt is a real serious thing. And when you are going to college and you are, you know, the type to slack off or whatever, that can come with humongous consequences. So, you know, it, it's a big challenge. And I completely understand people who are not willing to take that on yet and they want to stay in the comfort of high school. It's seems like a pretty normal thing to me what is one thing like since you this is your class this, mm -hmm. these are this your is my class these are your people right now what is one thing you would tell people younger than you make a goal for yourself make a make a nice overarching goal that goal could just be to complete high school but all you youngins make a goal for yourself and then try your best to stay within the boundaries to complete that goal uh, that way you don't have to worry about pressure and drinking and all of that stuff that comes with not having a goal. You know, you, you'll be able to gauge whether these decisions are right for you or not. So you don't think it determines a kid's, like you don't think high school determines a kid's knowledge or... For sure, it doesn't. So it doesn't matter if somebody has like a 2.0 GPA or somebody who has like a 4.5 GPA or something. All of, okay, it, it, it's very odd to me uh, how... People put so much pressure in school, in high school, when all of the richest people in the world, or most of them, they don't get past the high school diploma, right? They, they don't get past their college degree. Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of Harvard. Bill Gates, I, I think Bill Gates dropped out of college as well. Albert Einstein didn't complete high school. No, the intelligence, obviously, has nothing to do with the high school or education system in general. It, we're all just a part of a system meant to make employees, which is not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. You think it school drains the creativity out of students? I do. I do think it drains the creativity out and of students. It makes you, like you said, a working machine. For sure. You, you must stay within the confines of what people want, these expectations. What they want is very important to you. And if it's not important to you, then you're going to get some slack for it. You know, I have a brother who is very, very creative and uh, he's not able to really tap into that creativity during school because he has so much that he needs to worry about and think about and, and he needs to attend to everyone else's expectations and his teacher is asking him for something that he doesn't really want to do, right? So you, you have these instances where you have these real geniuses that are not able to be all that they can be mm -hmm. because the education system is holding them back. It's not perfect, it's flawed. Last question. What would you say to teachers? Because they are an important, if not the most important part of raising kids and you know, teaching them with how to become adults. What would you tell them? What, would, what is the one thing you, like, you wanna express to them? Uh, I want to say thank you to every one of you teachers who 
are working hard every single day to make sure that these kids are prepared for whatever comes up. Even those teachers who don't really believe that they can do much and uh, to help the next generation, just by being in your position, you are. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of the teachers who have helped me these past four years, uh, although I was not in uh, Westlake all four years. I thank you to everyone who did lend a helping hand. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.